Thank you for tuning in on Debo's today. And all this week, we're going to be looking at the subject matter, the way up is down. Hey, did you like my picture there? If you're watching this, that, that's what you ought to be doing this morning, okay? Spending time with the Lord, spending time on your knees before God's throne. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to look at a subject matter a lot of people don't want to hear. Listen, the Word of God that we're going to be looking at, the Word of God is not some cafeteria that you can skip over the asparagus to get to the dessert, okay? So you got to eat your asparagus. If you want to be a good Christian and you really want to grow in the Lord and you want God to bless you and reward you when you get to heaven, then you want to humble yourself and serve. Now look with me in Mark chapter 10, verse 35. James and John, don't forget, these two are characters. Don't, don't forget about it. Sons of Thunder. Don't forget about that. The sons of thunder. They, they're, they're, they're kind of a rough crowd there. Hey, listen, God takes the rough crowd and he puts some sweetness in them, but they don't have it yet. So they're following Jesus. And it says, they're the sons of Zebedee. Uh, they came up to him and said to him, a teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. Okay, this is too funny. Okay, we're not reading into this. What they're saying is, um, hey, since we're following you, uh, we want you to give us whatever it is that we want. Okay, it's kind of crazy. Hey, but you know, a lot of Christians are like that, right? A lot of people think that Jesus or God is like some uh, jolly Santa Claus in the sky. You know, just ask Santa Claus what he wants, and, and the heavenly Santa Claus is going to give it to you. Or, or some people look at him as some sort of cosmic bellboy. They just kind of push their button, and God comes running to their service, and he's going to give them what they want. And I know most people don't think that way, but when people say, I prayed unto God, and I didn't get that job, and now I'm not going to church anymore, I'm sure you've heard that before. You know how people think. So they say, God, we just want you to give us what we want. Now look with me down uh, Mark 10, 37. And they said to him, Jesus, we want you to grant to us one at your right hand, and the other at your left in your glory. They go, we want to sit. Okay, we want us to sit. One sit on the right hand, one sit on the left hand. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Okay, so they said, we want to be right there with you, and we want to roll with you over the kingdom of God in, in heaven. Okay, this is pretty arrogant. doesn't get too more arrogant than this. Okay, now what I want to tell you, Jesus has already promised them higher positions in heaven to the disciples. Now, listen, it's not just to them. Just so you know this, heaven is not the same for all people. Now, I've been doing some funerals here lately, and some of the funerals I, I've been doing, some of these people, let's just be up front. They were just dead weights, and I mean that. See, I don't believe you said that. I said it. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant because I want to warn you. You know, they just kind of went to church and I mean, they gave a little money to God, and they didn't witness to anybody. They didn't give anything up. If you took them to court, you couldn't convict them in a court of law that they were a Christian because you couldn't even tell. They just looked like everybody else. Okay, well, those people, they're going to heaven if they trusted in Christ, but they're going to lose out rewards. And Jesus, so Jesus promised them that if they really followed him, that they'd be greatly rewarded in heaven. But what they didn't understand, when you get to heaven, if you want to go higher, then you have to go lower first. Now look what he says down here, Mark 10, 43. He says, Jesus says, but it shall not be um, uh, among you. So whoever would be great among you must be your servant. And whoever would be first among you must be a slave of all. What's he saying here? He says, the people, when they get to heaven, they're going to be elevated to the highest positions. And, and just so you know, there's a hierarchy in heaven. He says, are the greatest servants, they are the people that were the humblest people. Hey, listen, that, that, what that tells me is this. Anybody can be great in heaven because anybody can serve. 